Over the past year, we've made a number of landmark local healthcare investments, including this one today at NHH. So today I'm really pleased to announce that Northumberland Hills Hospital will be receiving an increase in base funding of over $1 million and up to $335,000 in one-time funding by the provincial government. This investment represents an increase in base funding that is above the provincial average, and it's important because Linda, as you've mentioned, and as so many of you have mentioned to me, the strains that a medium-sized hospital faces in Ontario today deserves that recognition, that you need the support from your provincial government and the unique strains that we're facing as a growing community outside the GTA. The funding will support NHH as they build capacity and quality while continuing to meet the ever-increasing demands of local patients. Patient needs continue to increase in all areas at NHH, and NHH is continually challenged with high levels of ALC patients. This funding will help increase the number of beds and has already had to open in fiscal year 2019-20 in order to meet local patient needs and prevent having to house patients in hallways. And after years of the hospital struggling with an operational shortfall, the increase to base funding will also assist in building stability and sustainability for acute care services that NHH provides. Heading into 1920 fiscal year, NHH will be in a stronger financial situation. Thank you for your announcement today of a further base funding adjustment. As my fellow board members will attest, for many years this hospital has struggled with operating sh shortfall and relying on one-time last-minute funding adjustments which hampered our ability to do effective long-term planning. The base increase you've announced today will help to stabilize and sustain the acute care services that we exist to provide. And the additional surge dollars of, that you have provided will also be very helpful. So thank you for those as well. On behalf of the NHH team, the physicians, the staff, the volunteers who work here every day, we sincerely thank you and your government's health care leaders for this very positive news. The dollars you've announced today will help fund additional beds. As you've said, our team has already opened. The hospital was built with 137 <coughs> pardon me, beds. We're funded for 96. In the past year, we received one-time surge funding that brings us to 108. Yet in the last two months, just in this fiscal year, our occupancy be has been 121 patients in April and 118 patients in May, well over the 96 or well over the 108. So the additional funds received today will actually allow us to open those beds to prevent hallway medicine or patients waiting in emergency department, to have staff who are hired to be able to provide that care in a, in a bed that is opened. It certainly will make a significant difference in the, in the care and the patients that we serve. And it is all about the, pay, the care that we provide to patients. We exist to provide care to Northumberland, West Northumberland County, and uh, we are very privileged and proud to be able to do that. So thank you again for the dollars of today and your ongoing support of NHH. Uh, the base funding amount that this hospital provides, and as you see in the chart behind me, it's guaranteed dollars. Now there's additional funding, as Linda indicated. Their, their overall budget is larger than this, but it's important that they have that stability, that they know the funds that are coming from the ministry that we're providing as a government are there to support them. And as, as Linda indicated, what does this mean for Northumberland Hills Hospital? This means more beds. This means better patient-centered care. And she specifically highlighted the patient. And that's ultimately why we strive, it's why we serve, it's why we're here, is to support the patients of this community. And this increase will lead to better patient-centered care. We employ over 600 individuals. We need to be able to ensure some stability for them. And we also are caring for a, a community that needs us. So knowing that those dollars are there to provide that care, does provide a, a comfort level and also a sense of um, a, and also an ability to focus on many of the other things. If we know the dollars are taken care of, we can begin to talk about what are the other things we need to focus on. Thank you.